harness racing is one tough sport. A horse has to be in peak condition to win. Well, they might get some help from a physiologist who's come up with a revolutionary device. We tagged along for the first night of testing, and here's what happened. And they're off and trotting along the inside, moving through is Paul's image, Paul's image. One minute and 54 seconds over one mile of track. In the world of harness racing, that's the kind of speed that wins races and earns big bucks. Tonight, the sixth race at Mohawk Raceway has a purse of $22,000. And this horse, named Donald Rankin, is getting ready to start. He's not expected to win, but tonight, he has science on his team. You've heard the, the old adage that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. There's, there's quite a bit of truth in that. Having fun at it. Always train something different. Yeah. Mike Leninger is an animal physiologist. He's teamed up with Donald Rankin's trainer, Pat Hunt, to help win races by conquering one of the most perplexing challenges in training. Making sure the horses get enough to drink. I think he wants to go. Some of them drink well, some of them don't. And it seems that uh, I found anyway that horses, when they get dehydrated, uh, they seem to get worse. They don't want to drink. Just as the old saying implies, horses don't always like to drink as much as they should their thirst reflex kicks in too late to stave off dehydration. Good trainers deal with this problem by training their horses to drink after every workout. But getting it just right is hard to do. A 1% decrease in uh, body water in humans has been shown to result in mental deficits as well as physical performance deficits. So when we're looking at racehorses, we don't need much of a decrease in, um, in hydration and we can we're fairly sure that that will impair performance at the racetrack. They won't be able to perceive the track as well. They might not re react as quickly to certain situations, and their muscles won't be performing as well. For trainers, part of the problem is getting information. The old gold standard for hydration testing required 15 blood tests taken before and after exercise. Tough on the horse, impossible for the trainer. But Leninger is testing a revolutionary new technique that replaces needles with electrodes. It's called bioelectrical impedance analysis, or BIA. So this instrument is going to measure impedance at 24 different frequencies over about a two-minute period of time. I can turn it on now. To take a reading, Leninger simply attaches two electrodes to the horse's legs. One emits a tiny harmless current into the horse's body. Okay. The other detects the current again at the other side. In between, that current zips painlessly through the horse, carried by the slightly salty fluids found in blood and tissue. Body fluids is a pretty good conductor of electricity because there's a lot of electrolytes, things like sodium and chloride, in the body fluids, both inside the cells and outside the cells. So they conduct very well. So far, so good. But it's when a horse starts working out that things get really interesting. According to Leninger, as an animal loses water through sweat, the mixture of electrolytes inside the body fluids changes. That means the ease with which a current can flow through them, that's called the impedance, also changes. Track those changes and you'll know exactly how much water the horse has lost. If it works as well as we think it's going to work, it's going to be a, a very uh, important tool for both people in the field, trainers and other, and other horsemen, as well as veterinarians in the clinic. But before Leninger can be completely confident his technique is practical, there's one more test he'd like to try. He needs to take BIA on the road and off to the races. You gonna do it right on here? Yeah. Want me to clean it up first? No. Tonight is a big night for three-year-old yeah. Donald Rankin. He's been on the sick list for three months, and this is his first race back. Easy boy, easy boy. But it's a big night for Leninger, too. It's the first time he's tried his new technique on the road. It looks like, from the numbers that we see, that there's just a little bit of dehydration, um, very minor, sort of what you would expect from a one-hour trailer ride. But uh, from what you see, just looking at those numbers, I think he's definitely good to go. Leninger wants to track Donald Rankin's hydration level all night tonight to see how well he's doing. Looking good. And to make sure BIA is practical at the track. The hydration looks good, but how will Donald Rankin run? 
They are off and trotting, bursting first away is Baywood Barrister. Keep your eye Baywood on horse Barrister number Donald one. Through and Donald Rankin is going to play hardball and trot through along the inside. At first, Donald Rankin, Rankin doesn't seem to have a chance. Put in there to be fifth. Into the first turn, I got to want to say. Then, lady, Donald Rankin, Waples has this one coming on through. Donald Rankin at 10 to 1 wins it by a head for an upset. In to everyone's race, surprise, Donald Rankin scores an unexpected win. For Leninger, it's the highlight of the night and proof that his technique didn't put the horse off his stride. They know this horse won, they're going to say, whatever you're doing, we want you to do it. Just as important, BIA is getting accurate results. An analysis of a post-race test confirms that Donald Rankin's hydration level remained good all night. With some cooling off and a good drink, he'll be fine to travel home tonight. It indicates that uh, that the technique works well, and that whatever, and the horse was in great shape to win, and did a fantastic job. Leninger says eventually BIA could be adapted for human athletes too. Meanwhile, it seems sure to tip the odds in favor of healthier horses. Now you know, Jay, the reason why horses don't feel the need to drink when they dehydrate is because of the nature of their sweat. Now, when us humans sweat, we sweat mostly water, and the salt. Um, concentrations build up in our bodies that's why we want to drink to dilute those whereas horses they sweat equal amounts of salt and water so the salt concentration in their bodies doesn't increase they don't feel the same uh, need to drink and when they do I guess they're actually quite close to being clinically dehydrated before they even feel the urge to drink. That's right, and that's why racehorses, we saw, they're trained to drink immediately after they've done some exercise. But they're not just drinking pure water, they drink a kind of mixture of water and electrolytes. That way, they're better, their bodies absorb the water better. So it's almost like they're drinking a, a horse form of Gatorade. It, it is odd, isn't it? And I guess the reason isn't understood, but why they would be so insensitive to what, even in the wild, would be dangerous, dehydration. Anyway, the device looks like it works. And the beleaguered monarch butterfly.